Technology makes life so easy. The age of convenience is dawning upon us. Yet we're so blinded by the light, and we never see the night. Only rest for the wicked. Only rest for the wicked. Get your phone into your hand. Make that your iPod, iPhone. These days it's everything packed into one item. So convenient. What of the cost? For hundred and sixty dollars. That's not what I'm talking about. It used to take so much to send a letter of love via a carrier pigeon. Via a carrier pigeon. No one can send you a text of love in a few push of buttons. Which takes next to an instant. We wonder why attention spans seem like the main in China. Wireless connections only provide a a greater pace of shit to be exchanged. We get so lost with our phone in our hand and our computer there. Checking out the Facebook, getting looped into the loop. As we have Fox to play, surfing the channels for whatever, hey. By the time we're watching one thing, we have no clue what we just watched the moment prior. Already flicking into the next channel. For that ever increasing pace of information. Pace of information. Constant stimulation creates a need for constant stimulation. And that's why the situation is in dire need of someone to point out. Facts of the effects on us and the way that we carry out and act out our transactions between us things are changing so much we'll keep it connected but we're all falling out of touch it's kind of sad when the most common way of expressing that you're sad is via a frowning face emoticon what happened to the words meaning privacy connection these things are changing stopping us from meeting up in person for some of us it seems enough to be at home after work on a hard days off Sitting back connecting to the world via the internet We're so blessed with convenience We have these choices at hand But why not just go out and connect hand in hand with another Why would you do that when you can connect with all of your friends all at once You can find out what's happening all around We're doing everything else you need to home in your own zone of comfort privacy you see that's not the point of sharing meaning across the web it's nice to connect to coordinate the time and place that we can't hold hands but when it becomes the sole means or at least the primary means the main means of our exchange here and there something special and significant in the color of the painting yeah black and white becomes the image of society when they're investing all the color into the tubes and the wires that help them breathe meaning into the eyes of those others reading the screens nobody realizes Meaning another shares, it seems, are too caught up in giving their own shit, it seems. Seriously, everyone's happy to give, give, give. Everyone's happy to 
give, give, give. What happened to receiving? What happened to receiving? So now we're giving on this planes of fakeness. Superficial virtual reality. Virtual reality. People don't have as much time to dwell on meaning, to contemplate things develop their own unique perspectives and ideals and visions and things so they buy what's prescribed to them on the net what's so popular internet technology evolution holla sad sad frowny face what are you doing now Watching my frowning face over the web. Without the web, I would not be here right now, and I wouldn't have said anything, as far as you're concerned. It makes it hard for those without the net to connect with those in the village without them. It also Increases our threshold through what we need to keep entertained, what we need to be happy, spending time. We don't want to waste time getting bored. Bored is the crying word on the lips of every child these days. You don't want to get bored. But when it's boosted to such extremes, all the ways that we can facilitate entertainment. So hard to be in a room with peeps and feel that you're enough and adequate. You cannot give unless you have everything to bless to give. And if you don't, my friend has a bigger LCD screen and games and TV and internet and box cell and everything. So much more entertainment. You're really great for conversation, but sorry, bud, I forgot to ha- how to have it. It's been a while, I'd rather go on Facebook, take a while, to tell everyone how I tripped over a cat, or some asshole at the shop wouldn't sell me a doormat, because they ran out of doormats that said welcome, and only had the ones that said fuck off, maybe I should get the one that says fuck off, because people don't come anyway, and if they want they can knock on the virtual door of my wall and say hey what's up, and I'll be like hey you're in. Now do you want to meet up and do something? Let's have a game of Dope Wars or something. If only they made Dope Wars multiplayer. I wish. I'm just rambling now because I'm kind of frustrated. The way everyone is so superficially elated by all these outdated uh, ways. And I say outdated because obsolution is key. Obsolution is key to things being produced these days. It seems there's always something new and better out the next day, it seems. Our dreams becoming real before we can understand what was in our hand when we held our dreams a moment ago. So we let those dreams go in favor of new dreams, materializing and splitting by the seams simultaneously. It gets lonely in the dark out of the loop it gets lonely I can't even play guitar beyond pulling these two strings nobody would take the time to show me in person and I refuse to watch some guide to how to play guitar on the internet I should just end it right there. Oh my god. That is the freakiest thing I've ever seen.